Well, hey guys and welcome back to Trin Sim World and today we're on the Somerset expansion and this oh need to go and set a track yes so this is basically a tourist railway it's a privately owned one it's a historic railway so we've got the little class 9 over there and a class 47 over here and apparently we're getting ready for the day so set the correct line Let's hop aboard our train, or our locomotive in this case. Bought this expansion recently along with the German one because whilst this is England and the modern English stuff does kind of bore me, this at least has a difference because it's beautiful countryside and quite pretty. So let's get ready to roll. What do I need to do now? Ah, master key to on. Turn my headlights to on. And the reverser. And I think we're good to go. Now, ah, release brakes. And it's gas time. I will grab the controller for this. Go via location Wilton Down Platform. Oh god, going way too fast. Slow down, please. Well, we're slowing down. It's not like it gives me a time penalty or anything. So this is the old school British rail, rail green. This is what they had before, the kind of generic blue. It's almost nice looking. These were around in the 60s and 70s. The last 47, I believe. And that's the cute little shunter over there. Yes, I just got it cute. Sue me. Oh, so we have to stop at the platform here. Okay. Let's chug along over. It's a very steam type whistle, isn't it? Okay, what track am I aligned for? Straight on. Okay. Let's keep the throttle on a little bit. Should take us over here to the platform. Okay, let's give it some more gas. Oh, that's a good rumble when it starts to power up, isn't it? No, not that fast, not that fast! Re! Stop it. Slow down. Okay. Let's actually slow down, shall we? Cute little station. Very quintessentially English, this. It's kind of why I like it. It's kind of old school and very Englishy. Not a very good description, I realise, but it's pretty. Okay, just keep going, okay. Rock and roll time. Let's go. Brakes are off. Why aren't you not going? Power, please. Is this one of those situations where I have to go back on the gas again? Yes, it is. Let's annoy everybody with a whistle. Throttle back to on. 185 yards and we'll be able to pick up some speed. Little railway crossing. Yep, we have little gates in England. Still do on some crossings, to be honest. At least the lesser used ones. It's very old school in here. Love the telephone. And the gingham pattern easy wipe seats. For dirty engineer butts. a little bit more gas. This is what I mean by it being a private historic railroad is that it's a railway I should call it in England. I'll get slapped by some people for that one. Still used to the American stuff in this game that I call it a railroad and I'm going to use a lot of American parlance by accident because I've learned it from the rest of the game. Yeah you guys have nice pretty electronic signals our old school stuff. Yeah. New stuff is lights like American stuff but that's kind of 50s, 60s, 70s technology with a little flag that goes up and down all the way back to the 1920s. Okay, we can pick up some speed now. It's very quaint little single track through the countryside down in Somerset. Somerset. We should talk like this for the entirety of the video, shouldn't I? Oh, I should. Now I'm even annoying myself. I promise not to bring it out too often. Okay, I'm going to stop now. That's ridiculous. Come on. Faster, faster, faster. Go. Chug, 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 chug. 
Let's rock and roll. Bring the throttle back so we're not speeding horrendously. We are climbing, so 1% grade, quite a reasonable climb. I believe the steepest locomotive can actually climb is 4%. And as somebody pointed out in one of the last videos, uh, the percent grades basically means it covers 1% equals that the track goes up 100... Uh, no, a foot every 100 feet. So 4% would be 4 feet every 100 feet, which is actually quite steep if you think about it. And considering that trains don't exactly have a lot of traction, considering it's metal on metal, yeah, they'd slide back if it's anything more than that. I believe the Cajon Pass in California is 2.5%. I may be wrong, but that's one of the steepest passes, and they have like four or five locomotives hauling those trains up that thing. In fact, that's where the Cajon Pass uh, disaster happened years ago, where one went lost its brakes on the way down. And, uh, well, went rocketing off the tracks and landed on a bunch of houses. Not good. So we're four miles out. Time for the obligatory get up and walk around. Oh, I can't open the doors. Maybe the game's learned about me now. Won't let me open the doors in transit. How dare you? That's off. I can't open this. What does that do? There's no fire. I can have my coat up there. That's nice. Oh, look, a cup holder. Yeah, I'm deciding that's definitely a cup holder. It's probably for a lamp, but I'm calling it a cup holder. Because that's about the right size for my cups of tea. Let's pick up some power again and get ourselves moving a bit further forwards. But yeah, beautiful Somerset scenery. In fact, it's actually pretty close to a lot of England, although with this being a little single track line, it's kind of unspoilt. Most of the modern train lines are at least two tracks and all the electronics everywhere and gantries and other factors. They kind of look a bit... Ugh. You get these urban corridors of railways in England where it's just miserable. Oh god, fast. Too fast. Whereas this is pretty. This is tight little line and countryside really up against the lines. It's pretty. Actually kind of beautiful, which just explains again why I like this game. You know, the American scenery is gorgeous, but this is just pretty. Okay, I need to put a bit of brake in. Little single track tunnels. Nothing you'd see like that anymore. A lot of these railways, these heritage railways, are uh, preserved lines. They're lines that used to exist, and there was a lot of single track lines around the country. And lines like this are basically preserved uh, sections of those lines that societies... Groups of individuals will buy, will maintain, you know, close down bits of line that were closed from the network. They'll they'll buy them, they'll restore them, and they'll keep little fleets and little stations of trains for hauling passengers and tourists around. America has the same sort of thing around as I'm trying to center the damn controller looking thing. You know what? Mouse, there we go. Brakes are off, we'll put some gas in again. A lot of these places will have steam trains that run on these little heritage lines. So you get to take a ride on, you know, trains from the bygone era. But weird enough, this little heritage line pack for trains in world literally comes with two diesels. And the closest thing to a steam train is a little class 9 with its connecting rods slash kind of like its pistons. It's not really a steam train, but it's they're all linked up for some reason. I don't know why. Someone will tell me, I'm sure. But look at that. Stunning... So we're still actually low on power. 3.7 miles out. They could have done something with the distant scenery. It's a little generic over there where it's just like, hmm, brown lumps. Little bridge to go over now. Rather than under one for a change. I remember going on one of these heritage lines when I was a child. I think it was, um, not York. It was one up north somewhere in England. But either way, I remember actually getting to ride on the Flying Scotsman when it came there for a tour, I think it was. They had Pullman carriages and the Flying Scotsman and we had lunch on the train. It was 
pretty nice experience actually. My dad took me because he was the one that was into to trains and had a model railway in the attic. I always remember going up to the attic when he was working on it and enjoying the smells and sounds. Yeah, the smells. It was weird, the little mechanical oil smells around. And I remember once when I was about five or six, I did a stupid and I was resting my chin on the edge of the layout. And I don't know why, but I put my tongue on the tracks. Don't do that. Yeah. Not a lot of power going through them, but it's enough to make you not do it again. I was an idiot even when I was a child. Little houses down there. We're going a bit fast, but you know what? The game's not going to penalise me, so I'd rather go a little fast than a little slow. I've got to say, this is really pretty. The expansions were recently on sale on Steam, and they're actually on sale fairly often, so you can pick them up for like two for the price of one almost, and... I figured, you know what, I enjoy making these videos. I enjoy the scenery this, this game shows, and it's a very relaxing game to play, so it's kind of nice just to be able to sit back and chill and do something that doesn't require twitch reflexes and, you know, grand strategy to play a game. I don't have to put my, you know, strategic head on to play World of Warships. I don't have to somehow wrangle the idiot AI in SWAT 4 to try and complete that mess. On that front, by the way, yeah, going to bring more episodes out once I can work out how to basically solo them because my AI teammates are a waste of time, a hindrance, and get themselves killed. Yeah. Not good. And we've lost speed again, so let's fix that. The grade's getting steeper. Heading up to this Crow Home Heathfield Loop platform. Not this one, the next one. Very steam trainy whistle on this thing. Not at all like the big American honk honks. Hello, people. Hello, people. Honk. Wake up. Another little level crossing here. Too bad I'm chugging straight through. 1.2% grade, getting steeper yet. This must be really pretty in real life. I'd love to come down here and actually visit this place just because its scenery is gorgeous. Yeah, I don't know. These games have, I wouldn't say gotten me into trains because that would be a lie, but I don't find it weird and nerdy and boring. It's fun, but from a sim gaming perspective, you know, like people would play Street Sweeper Simulator. Doesn't mean they want to go and work as a Street Sweeper. Just like somebody might play Bus Simulator, who has no intentions of driving a bus. I have no intention of driving a train, but as I've said in previous episodes, you never know when in a zombie apocalypse you might need to turn one into a mobile fortress. I'm not even kidding. I would do that. Big spiked plow on the front, smashing through hordes of zombies. Yeah. Armor, flamethrowers, the usual, you know, sensible things. Up now we head. This is a nice little first introduction, really, for the Somerset stuff. I do plan to do a bunch of the other missions from this, and I also picked up the Ruhr, the Ruhr Nord Sieg, uh, the German one. I've mispronounced that most likely, but I picked up the German one as well, just because it's a very scenic route, apparently, and quite pretty. So, nice scenic vistas and explorations. And I will be doing a couple of the American ones again soon. I wanted to do some more of the uh, Sandpatch Grade ones, but a lot of them are quite long, so I've decided I'll probably be talky talky when we're doing the um shunting and switching and you know picking up cars you know leaving towns those sort of parts and i might either speed up or cut out some of the traveling in between unless it's particularly pretty uh because i don't think you want to watch a two-hour video although i might stream it sometime soon yeah there you go up oh, this pretty little cutting and yeah, this is pretty. I, I don't know why, but with it being so tight and narrow and such an old little single line, it feels very pioneery. One point six miles out, cows grazing happily in their field. Must be kind of weird for the people who live near here, you know, just seeing old trains tootle around all the time.
What's this one called? North Star. If I can get the camera to stay still. Yep, North Star. So the whole point of this mission is to basically bring the power up to another station to pick up a load of coaches and head onwards course. Or pick up the coaches to start a passenger route. Of course, that won't be in this mission. We're basically just travelling here to pick up. We're running light power. Which means just the locomotive itself, not an actual train. Because, here we go. Education time. A train is the whole thing. Locomotive and cars. Or wagons, if you're in England. Or coaches. The whole train is everything together. You'd have like a string of cars. Or a rake of wagons. Or a locomotive, which on its own is not a train. Yeah. I called them trains at first. I was wrong. I was corrected. So I shall now call them locomotives for the sake of accuracy. Not now, but I've been doing it for a while, but... I learned my lesson. Ooh. <laughs> the window opens. <laughs> Why does this amuse me so much? What else is it to press? I can't open the doors. Annoying game. It knows about me. It won't let me fall out. There's my cup holder. I think we're we'll heading downhill soon, so I may need to slow down. Nope, still going uphill. Okay, what's this? It's a light that won't turn on. Oh, hello, cab lights. Yay. I press switches. I don't need them on, so I'll turn them off again, but still. I want to press the red button. Ah. I want to press the red button. I wonder what happens if I turn that on while we're moving. Probably bad things as a parking brake. Oh, crossing. To be fair, a bit like the American ones where I end up doing it right as I arrive at the crossing. It's probably not going to help anyone stop in time because it's kind of late, but we're arriving at the Crocombe uh, Heath, Crocom Heathfield loop platform shortly, I believe. Well, we're 6.6 .6 miles out, so we'll keep some power on. And we should be up there soon. Don't know whether it will want us to hook up or not, but we'll try. It may just tell us to arrive here and be done. If so, meh. Yeah, I know, I'm late. I'm probably going to kill some poor farmer and his tractor just crossing that thing. Didn't know I was coming, and kaboom! Headshot. All right. Okay, now time to get the throttle back. Let gravity do its work. 500 yards out. We'll probably have speed restrictions soon. There is one just behind this green light, so I'll need to make sure I slow down. That's useful, you know, the way it hides it right behind the, the signal. At least the track is clear. And some modern signal in there. Unlike the old uh, flags. Still don't know what speed I'm meant to be going at because it won't tell me. Guess I'll just wait for it to hit the light. Okay, 20. Yeah, we're good. And gravity's bringing us to a nice graceful stop. We're aligned for the right platform. And in we come. I can't get over how steam trainy this sounds. Let's bring it to a stop. Too fast stopping. Let's just let ourselves roll forwards. Nailing this stopping at the right point, Malarkey. Okay. Stop at location just before Bishop uh, Lydard, I guess. So it just wanted me to stop there to now go. Okay. You can do that. Just before Bishop's Lydard. Lydard. Meh. The Bishop place. The land of Bishops. I'm going to call it Bishopton from now on. Let's choo-choo our way out of here. 
with our really steam trainy sounding whistle. I gotta find the button for that. There's got to be a better solution. Is it like a low whistle? That sounds more like it. I should stop misbehaving. Whoa, we're going too fast. And now we're going downhill, so it's time to put some brakes on, I think. Oh, God. That yeah, camera, behave. Thank you. Brakes, 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 please. Let's bring some of this in. Just keep a little bit of brakes on. Help us not to speed down. We're definitely making good time by speeding a little bit, but it's not like I'm going to meet any more traffic, is it? On a single little line here. Although if I did, that'd be bad. I'd probably have to jump out the door, which they won't let me open because I'm moving, because they know me too well. Ugh. 2.9 miles. And it's a fairly decent downgrade here, so we'll keep these brakes on and wear out the pads. More pretty countryside. Trees. Very English trees, those. Not at all like those funny American trees you've seen. Not at all. Oh. Nope, I did not want that. Go away, mouse, please. There we go. And we've got a warning signal in 2.4 miles. Which means the next segment of track will either be occupied or going to be read after it. So, basically means slow down, prepare to stop. But you don't need to stop. Just be able to. So if I was rattling along like 60 or 70, not going to happen in this train. I'd probably bring it down to about 30 just to make sure I could stop. So that yellow's right outside where we're stopping, so... I figure we should be okay. Probably where we're picking up any coaches or people. I like to think we're picking up coaches because, you know, what good is a locomotive without a train? Mm hmm. And you'll see below you cows. Lots and lots of cows. Now I'm going to crouch to get a better view out the window. In fact, here's a view from a typical British train window. There's a barn with hay in it. Here's a bridge. There's a tree. Another one. Another tree. A distant tree. More trees really close up. A really distant tree over there on the hill. Note the distant tree. And this is what it feels like to be a midget train driver. Normal train driver. Midget train driver. Barely see over the dash. Anyway, we're heading down here. We've actually lost a bit of speed, so let's pull some of the power off. We'll have to put some back on, I'm sure, in the near future, because we are picking up a bit of speed. 10 mile an hour at the station. I'm guessing that's what we're approaching. Yep, same distance. Oh, no. Station's just ahead of that 10 mile an hour, so we might be stopping just before it. Release some brake pressure. So we've been up over the crest and heading down now. Two miles to go. Heading around this bend and we should be just in time for TM medals. I'm actually really overawed by just how nice this is. This is the first time I've been on this route and I like it a lot, actually. It's okay. We're speeding again. Power, please, or brakes, please. Even it is very pretty. I'm kind of glad I bought it, and you know what? It's fun. I'm not going to deny it. It is fun. I've been called all sorts of names for playing a train game, but yeah, it's my computer. It's my game library. It's my Steam. You know what? If I want to play this game, I will. So one thing I discovered is it's our time gaming and we should use it how we want to. I like playing different games. I get bored playing the same thing every day. Why would I want to? This allows me to take a bit of a different turn. Try something different. Experience a different thing. Chances are I'm never going to drive a train in real life. It's kind of fun to have a go. 
And with all the different international routes, it's great to see some scenery from other places. That's why I love flight sims so much. Honestly, I need to bring some of that to my channel because I used to enjoy flying all around the globe. It was a really fun experience, I must say. South America, Africa, Mongolia, China, um, Russia, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, Alaska, the United States. I used to do something called FS Economy and FS Economy was basically a add-on thing that was a community who had a world where you could buy and rent planes and you know you took jobs in these rented planes to save up to buy your own planes of different kinds and you'd haul passengers and you'd haul freight. Every plane had its own weight and passenger seat allowances and you'd start in little Cessnas renting those and flying three or four people, two or three people maybe, and you'd work up to flying big, you know, it only kind of stopped at the twin, uh, sorry, the four piston engine type aircraft and the turboprops. Never went into the, uh, you know, the jets really, but not the big jets at least, they were business jets of course, but you could take these jobs and I used to fly um, A26 Invaders, which did see a lot of civilian use after the war, the Second World War of course, and they hold a decent amount of cargo in the Bombay, and I ended up flying around Australia in those things, just picking up cargo. I think in the end I had a C-119 flying boxcar and I would literally pick up a load and fly wherever it was going. I'd literally fill the thing with cargo going to the same place, head there, pick up the next l l full load of cargo and go wherever it took me. And that ended up taking me all around the globe, which was really fun. Places I never would have gone to. And this game lets me go to places I'm probably never going to go to either. Or at least see sights that I'd never see. Lecture over. We're about 0.8 miles out now from our destination. Shouldn't be too long now. There's the amber. No, we want to be in forwards. Not that it really matters because we're not really running on power. I've not been running on power this entire downgrade. Got some brakes on, but that's about it. Very economical. Not using any sort of throttle. Really want to use that handbrake at some point. Hmm. Okay, so we've got a green here. Despite the fact it's telling me it's an amber. You lie, signal. You lie. And there is a field full of solar panels because nothing is quite so quintessentially uh, British as a field filled with solar panels rather than cows. Okay, so we have a red here. Just after where we're stopping. So I'm definitely going to have to stop. We're only 600 yards out there, so we should be there momentarily. Just going to leave the throttle off. Like we currently have, no need to put any on. Release the brakes for now. We'll use the driver's brake to stop us when we get there. Probably want to start putting some inertial applications on. Yeah, stopping us for the red signal. Let's bring the speed down a little bit. Okay. Let's bring the speed right down because I'm going to have to stop before this signal. Come on. Stop me, please. Okay, so we need a bit of power. A bit early this time, but I didn't want to run a red, which will fail the mission instantly. Let's just creep along here. Slam the brakes on when we get in here. I guess we're picking up those carriages there. Come on, release. Just roll forwards. Get a nice 1% grade. Should bring us forwards. There we go, picking up speed naturally. Don't even need to use power. I could pick up those coaches without any. Yeah, 
Here we go. Let's cross over this while it moves us the three yards we need. And let's stop. Cool. What do I need to do next? Uh, how do I... Okay. Proceed at restricted speed. Choo-choo, off we go. Are we lined for the right track? That's the question. I'll have to find out in a second. Are we lined up? Yes, we are. Okay, cool. So proceed forwards, 10 mile an hour limit. We're picking up these coaches. Unlike the American ones where you've got knuckles that just, if they're open, will latch on. Here, we're basically hooking up a chain. And for some reason, this likes to freak out and couple you between the bumpers. So I'm going to have to be very careful with how I do this. Let's bring that off. I have to go into outside camera view because I'm not a train driver. I'm not very good at this. Let's go. Come on. Oh, I've lost the advantage I had of the downgrade. Come on. Mmm, camera freakouts. Fun for all the family. Come on. That's what we needed. Let's get us out of this tunnel. I need to make sure I stop at exactly the right place. And it's matters. Come on, a little bit of power. A little bit. This is going to be very good. Now, now, now. Ooh, that might be perfect. Hello, good sir. Sod off, could you? Yep, excuse me. Don't mind me. Plop. Let's pick up our coaches. Oh. Hey. Oh, it had a knuckle type coupling. Cool. Set the reverse to off and switch the headlights off. So we are coupled up to the coaches. Actually, let's have a look in these, shall we? Look at this. Classic old railway style. Hello, people. I'm now getting on the train. No, I need to leave. No, window. Thank you. Door. No, let me out. Okay, so. Reverser to off. Headlights to off. Master key to off. Parking brake on. Because we're safe. No, get get off, thank you. Close the door. I wish to close the door. God damn it. There we go. Yay! And I get to run up there. So safety first, crossing. And up we go. Job done. Nice. Hopefully you enjoyed this one, guys. It was a pretty fun run to do this again, and really pretty little route we took. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I know I did. Hopefully we'll see some more of the uh, beautiful Somerset countryside, and probably some Germany and some America again in the near future. Thanks for watching. Bye.